One of Fulton's top public safety officials is now a part of a group of elite law enforcement professionals. Colonel Mark Adger of the Fulton County Sheriff's Office graduated from the FBI National Academy program at Quantico, Virginia. He was one of 224 officers from 48 states who are all now members of the 269th class of the National Academy. I think one of the, the prime benefits of having attended the FBI National Academy is that I'm able to bring resources uh, that are available through the federal government, namely the FBI, to bear on local jurisdictional issues, especially those here at the Fulton County Jail. Prior to graduation, Colonel Adger took part in a strenuous 10-week course that only a select number of public safety executives are granted admission to the prestigious program. Completing the FBI National Academy is the pinnacle of law enforcement executive training. It's uh, the top 1% of all law enforcement executives that get a chance to uh, do this training and to complete it and graduate is, is a privilege and an honor. Colonel Mark Adger began his career with the Fulton County Sheriff's Office in 1986. Since that time, he has served as senior instructor trainer, SWAT team commander, and Sheriff's Office training unit commander. He is currently the chief jailer at the Fulton County Jail. Sharing other law enforcement news in the county, a massive shakedown at the county jail uncovers all sorts of contraband. In the largest shakedown in the history of the jail, more than 200 officers netted 21 homemade weapons and other prohibited items such as tablets, tablet batteries, a cell phone, and a cigarette lighter. Sweet was derived out of uh, an increase in contraband that we had located inside the jail uh, from July to about mid-August. We saw an influx in cell phone contraband and weapons that we were finding uh, that prompted me to begin to reach out to other agencies. The unannounced search involved officers from the Fulton County Sheriff's Office, Direct Action Response Team, the Georgia Department of Corrections, the Gwinnett County Sheriff's Office, the Gwinnett County Corrections CERT Team, and the Viper Team from the Atlanta Department of Corrections. That many officers allowed a simultaneous hit in all of the housing zones and optimized the element of surprise. By using 220 uh, officers to conduct a raid style shakedown at this simultaneously, the inmates couldn't uh, figure out which area was about to be hit next, and they were they were completely caught off guard. Now the shakedown sent a message to inmates that contraband will not be tolerated at the Fulton County Jail.